And he just says that, you know, he feels like you don't really, that you don't bring a lot to the table, Rally. Have people ever told you that in your life before or not? Oh, all the time. Getting in into Nashville. I'm sitting here. If you're on the YouTube, I got a silent assassin here with me today or semi-silent. And this is a young fellow named Riley Mao. And um, what is Riley short for, bud? Riley. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, so nothing. See, back in the old days, you'd have a longer name, you know? Rolandro. Right. You would be, you know, Rolandro or, you know, Le Riley or something longer. And Riley would be short for something. Right. Nope, I'm just Riley. Okay. All right, beautiful man. And you, uh, you have a favorite statue? Can't say I do. You got to have one, man. You should get one. I like, uh, I'll tell you a couple of mine. You're welcome to borrow it if you need it. There's one in, um, there was the tallest Bob Hope statue. And that was in uh, Duran. I believe it was Duran, Illinois. Can you look that up, actually? Do you mind, Riley Mal? Yeah. Um, hate to put you to work there, but you got to do something, you know. Um, tallest Bob Hope statue. You know, 11 more people smoking crack near you. And you're just wondering how it all financially made sense. What do you have, a tallest Bob Hope statue? Any information? Oh, you wanted Bob Hope. I looked up the Statue of Hope in uh, Friendship, Indiana. Oh, okay. What is that? It is a private memorial or monument displayed in a graveyard or cemetery. Hope is one of the seven virtues of the Christian religion. So it's literally just about hope. Oh, that's beautiful. Not Bob Hope, but... Okay. Well, that's close enough, man. If, if you get that Bob Hope intel, let us know. Riley Mel, you got any information on that uh, Bob Hope statue? I do. So, it says that Bob Hope may be something of a forgotten figure, as a Los Angeles Times writer said in a November 29th story about a new biography on the late comedian Hope Entertainer of the Century. Okay, what about the statue, Bubba? There is a 9-foot, 5-inch tall fiberglass and cement uh, statue that has stood for 34 years in uh, Rockford. Rockford, Illinois? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, man, that's beautiful. Now, that's something, see, that's something you see different places. Small towns like to do that and like to honor something. Tallest statue, Bob Hope. Did he ever go see it, does it say? And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Riley Mao right there. You hear that rain, Riley? I do. It's cool, huh? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. That's cool. Excuse my language, man. Excuse my language also, Riley. Not a problem. Okay. Do you, where you're from, do you guys use a lot of profanity or what is it like over there? So I am a Christian okay. um, and, and, and an Eagle Scout. Um, I don't do swearing at all. Okay. Um, that's just not me. But I mean, hey, I don't, I don't judge. Okay. Well, you can judge me. I'm going to let you know that. Awesome. You can judge me. Up until the point that I'm willing to accept it. And then I'm going to try to use less of it around you then. All right. I might write some of the words down and show you some of the ones in advance that I'm going to use from now on. Just, I just don't want there to be not fair communication. Sure. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Thank you. Home and I'm spending all this motherfucking dorm money on it. Ugh. And why did he have to curse, you think, right there? Riley Mao. Who knows? It's just how, how he talks. Yeah. Okay, you're right, you're right. Onward. Riley Mao, hit us with a news item, brother. Well, in a British wildlife park, they have removed five cursing parrots from public. Okay, and when you say cursing parrots, what do you mean? Like parrots that they're, what, casting spells on, pub on public? I mean that they have foul language. Oh. Fowls have foul language. Okay. And any other information they're giving you? Um, it just says that the birds shared the ability to curse up a storm, something they engaged in quite often. Okay. So they're doing it, and where is it happening, you said? 
in a British wildlife park. Yep. Yep. Have you disappointed a woman in your life, Riley Mal? Oh, have I? I definitely have. And how do you feel about it now, And now that some time has passed? You fell in love for a pregnant woman. Pretty much, and I had no idea, because she wasn't showing yet, so mm-hmm. it was it was very early in the stage, and I, I literally had no idea. That pregnancy, the first three months, it can trick you. you. It used to be back in the old days, Riley, a woman had a decent womb in her. You know about it? You heard about it? Yeah, definitely. Were you breech birth, Riley? I was not. All right, man. Well, let's, there's different ways to do it. Let's get into the episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did you have any birth defects or anything like that? Um, can't say I have. Um, I mean, I'm a musician, like I said. But no, I'm, when you were born, were you missing anything? Did you have any birth defects? Um, dang, dude, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I okay, mean, so straight up full birth. Yeah. Wow, must be nice, man. That's how it is these days. Okay, have you ever had any small animals? I have. I had a uh, dog when I was little. Okay, that's great, man. And so what I'm... T- what else was I talking about? You ever done any injectable drugs, Riley Mal? I mean, unless it's for surgery. Um, the, uh, what do you call it? The thing that makes you go to sleep for surgery. Other than that, no. Anesthesia, you mean? Yeah, that. Okay. That, that's the thing. But you never just, you know... You and your buddy, you know, never pulled off the interstate and done steroids or anything like that. Nope. Unfortunately not. Do you do cocaine, Riley? I don't. All right. So what this man is asking about is they'll have uh, one of those fountains, like a fake stone fountain where the little guy is urinating into the bird bath. You know what I'm talking about, Riley? You ever seen those or not? I've seen them everywhere. You have? I have. Okay. And when you see that, what do you feel like? What is that? What is that? Is that cool? Is that lame? What is it? I mean, I I just don't really, I don't really have an opinion. I just, I see it and I just disregard it. I, I mean, I couldn't care less, honestly. Okay. And there you go. That's the young perspective. They don't care. Man. Any parting words you have, Riley? No, not at all. All right, let's see. Let's get another call. We had another call that came in about you. And uh, let's see what we can do here about it. Uh, Hi, my name is Henry. I'm in middle school. And, well, I'm pretty good with the bow staff. I train almost every day. (laughs) And I hear that Riley's Asian, so that's pretty much a given that, well, he's in martial arts. So... I challenge him to a duel. Uh, gang. <laughs> and he shows up with this big dang Lincoln log, you know. But anyway, uh, Riley, you got a child right there challenging you. Could you beat a child in a contest? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. You think yeah. you can beat that kid's ass, honestly, Henry? Um,. I mean, I don't know. He he might be faking the p- faking the voice. He might be like a really tough guy. I don't know. And how would you approach it? You think? Well, I mean, I would tell him, you know, come over to come over to the Middle East, and we'll uh, we'll hash it out. Okay. So there you go. You got a real challenge right there. He's saying, bring it over to the Central East. You mean? Bring it over to the Central East, and we'll hash it out. You know, and that's how you right there. People want to d- d- uh, doubt on Riley Mao. He'll just he just offered to beat the shit out of a damn middle schooler. So. I think that's safe to say, you know, anybody that's been serial killed, Riley, I don't No. Well. Live a little, brother. I have two friends who have uh, family members who have been victims of serial killers, or SKs, they call them. Y'all do the egg hunts over there? For Easter? Yeah. Um, No, well, are you talking about church or, like, just in general? Church. Uh, church, no. Okay. 
Well, could be a good church, could not be a good church. I'm not saying anything about East Side, man. You know, they sound like a, it sound like a great outfit. But it, you know, hot an egg. You ever send like you guys do a time capsule for Christ or anything like that through church? You guys do a you know, send a rocket up to God or anything. Was there any fun stuff like that you did as children? Um, not not for uh, religious purposes, but I mean, I've done time capsules. I've done rockets. Um, my dad's a rocket engineer. Oh, um, dang. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you ever done it for God? Like you guys ever built something for the Lord and just jacked that thing up into the sky? No, can't say I have. Well, not for the Lord. I've just done it for fun. Damn. Damn, you living, man. <laughs> You're yeah, living man. big, Riley Mal. Them and I like I like talking a lot. Um, other than that, um, wow. Yeah, I'm I'm a pretty quiet dude. Other than that, um, yeah. Football is finally back. Do you watch football, Riley Mal? I'm not a big fan. Okay, great, man. What are there? What are you? Are you paying attention, Riley? I am indeed. Okay. Just seem like you're not, but that's all right. Oh, no, I definitely am. Okay, thank you, brother. I do not believe you, but I do appreciate that. All right, let's get into a call right here. Yes, uh, thank you, man. Thank you for that. That's nice. Uh, it's just it's a sweet message, man. You know, we have a lot of nice people listen to this podcast. Riley Mao. All right. Um, oh, I remember this, man. You know, Halloween is coming up. And I remember that, uh, Riley, I wanted to ask you what you thought about that. Do you guys practice that? What is some of your experience with that? Um, honestly, uh, I don't have an opinion. I don't, honestly. All right. Um... Do you remember ever being costumed as a child? Did anybody dress you up and kind of trick you out at different areas for sugar? You know what I'm talking about, Halloween. That's murder town right there. What do you think, Riley? Have you had any experience with anything like that? I have not, honestly. What else is going on, man? I'll say this. Uh, I quit using the N-word probably about four years ago when everybody else did. Fully. I mean, I would never actively, you know, but people would, you know, if I saw, you know, you look at Asians, there's, and there's also all different. What I don't like is get specific with the racism. Mm -hmm. These Asians, you know, I've said it. Right. I've definitely said it. I'll be honest with you. Oh yeah. Everyone has. Yeah. You have a lot of body hair, Riley. I don't. I would have guessed that, man, honestly. Really? Yeah. And I hate to be now is that racism? If I guessed that, you know what I'm saying, kinda? Right, no, I get it. Um on it kind of, yeah. I... You got your Patrick Mahomes is out there. This guy, I mean, who who knows what he's doing? This dude do anything he wants. You got who's somebody that's mixed that does well, Riley? Um Me. Who else? I'm trying to think of a female. There's definitely other people. But here's what I'm saying is that this, I think eventually all the ra every race will be mixed. In two, three centuries, you're going to have everybody is going to be part everything. Do you know any rally, any ra what groups that have racial tension? Um, Japanese and Germans. There you go. And there you go. Do you, and I feel like that that stretches over all cultures, too. I feel like if you are black, white, uh, Malaysian, whatever, right. feeding a, a bread to a duck is normal. Right. I've seen literally anybody I could imagine doing it. Right. Exactly. Amen. But the man was smoking crack and then made one of the most successful pillows of all time. You know, name another. Can you name another pillow, Riley? Um, yeah, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, why can't I yeah. think of it? The you can't think of it because you can't think of it, dude. And the, that's the, why. The, uh, ther therapy, therapeutic, um. No. 
No? Nope. That's a mattress. You're, t- you're talking Tempur-Pedic. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Pillow is just for your head. Mattress is for your body. Right. What's up, Big Daniel? Out of Northeast Arkansas. You ever been there, Raleigh? I've not. Well, actually, what is Northeast Arkansas? Like, what cities? Man. What else? Anything else you want to share with us, Raleigh? Um, I did see that a man told snakeskin isn't a legitimate face covering. There you go. There you go. Riley Mao, anything else you need to say, man? No, I think this was a, uh, this was great. I loved being here. Great to be here. I like your attitude, brother. I like your attitude, man. Um, you ever had rib damage, Riley Mal? I have not. And I don't want to. There you go, folks. The hot take from Riley Mal, baby. You know, they don't let bad sounds in there, only good sounds. What's a good sound, you think, Riley Mal? I mean, good sounds as in, like, just anything in general. Like a good sound, yo. Um, I mean, laughter is a good sound. Um, I don't know, a rocket flying into space is a good sound. An elephant, I like elephants. Elephants are a good sound. What, what do you, yeah, um, yeah, man, we are always, like, we leave no man behind, we leave no trace behind um that was actually <laughs> Damn, really? well yeah that was actually our thing um our skin you know a lot of times a certain i'll see a designed egg um i honestly i don't even know what that is i've never seen one um yeah wow i have no idea what you're talking about wow i'm sorry that's all right man why know your history that's the thing about kids now they don't need to know their history who cares how'd you get here i don't know Indiana, it's uh, Spanish for. In 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 Indiana, Indian. It, oh, Indian! I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, a lot of comedians will end up getting into music. Riley Mao, do you know that? I do now. You know, uh, do you know? Um, speed you know deaf signaling you know what what is that called you know what i'm talking about riley hand hand gestures um what's the name of it i think it's deaf signaling but yeah and so when you look at that kind of stuff and you see the bad ones what do you you support that kind of thing i mean they're they're monkeys yeah yeah i, I support all monkeys whether they're whether they're bad or not yeah, and, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's one way to do it, but i get into that. Theo, man, hey, we're calling out here really close to Covington. Well, man. And Covington, that's my hometown. You, did, you, did you know I was from somewhere, Riley? I did not know exactly where. Well, I am from Covington, Louisiana. Do you know what it's famous for? cheese no wait that's wisconsin yep nope it is famous for tallest statue of ronald reagan in america and do you do you have any trouble looking at pornography or anything like that i don't wow really Mm -hmm. god and have you always been that way Mm -hmm. oh man and how do you do it you think i mean i just i just don't there's not really a how i just don't remarkable buddy okay 